What's going on, people? It's your boy, Church Life. I hope everybody having a blessed morning. Uh, I'm up here this morning because I had a dream about the rapture, man. Another dream about the rapture. Now, I have had dreams about the rapture before, but this one was different. It was something different about this one. And this this the rapture dream that changed my life, for real. This the one that changed my life. So I'm about to try to break it down in full detail of what happened and what took place in the dream. I wrote everything down so I won't forget any of the details of what took place. So before I went to sleep, I remember having a conversation with my mom and sister about a video I posted on TikTok. And basically the video was a revelation that God showed me. And he revealed to me that people in this world know Satan more than they do God. And to make a long story short, the video basically is a reminder so that we stay focused on our Heavenly Father rather than this world. So after the conversation, I decided to take a nap. But before I went to sleep, I remember thinking about the fact that I'm getting older. So that made me think about the fact that my mom is getting older as well. Everything that I know about the good Lord is what my mama taught me. So I can't bear the thought of ever losing her. And that thought alone made me want to just cherish the time while I still have with my mother. Then after that, I started thinking about all my friends and family and including the people that follow me on social media. So I began to pray for all of my loved ones, including the people that follow me on social media. And I was praying for everyone's salvation. And I asked the father, could you show up in their life in a way where it's undeniable? Help them to believe that what you say in the scripture is true. And I started praying for my dad as well because he struggled with addiction to drugs. So I just remember asking the father, if it be in your will, could you break him free from anything that he may struggle with? May you give him the strength to overcome these obstacles, dear Heavenly Father. May you break him free from addiction. May you shower him with your unconditional love. And may you do the same for the ones that's lost, replacing them a heart that desires to have a relationship with you, dear Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. So after I finished the prayer, I went to sleep, and then I started dreaming about the rapture. So I was walking with a group of people, including my mom and sister, and I remember we was talking about God and how good he is. And it was like we was in a marketplace. Then all of a sudden, the sky became real stormy. So everybody started looking at each other because we knew it was unusual how the sky went from blue to stormy in an instant. Then the wind picked up and it kept becoming stronger and stronger. So naturally, everybody thought a tornado was happening. So we started running just to try to find cover. But then it was like we heard a voice telling us to be calm. And that reminded me of when Lord Jesus was on the boat with the 12 disciples. And the storm came and the 12 disciples was afraid. And Lord Jesus said, peace be still. Then everything was calm. But in a dream, the wind continued to blow. And it became so strong that it started lifting everybody up from off the ground. And I remember looking at someone in a dream and they was talking, saying, this can't be a tornado because we never saw a funnel cloud. And it can't be a hurricane because it didn't destroy anything. But the wind got so powerful that it continued to lift people up off the ground. And I remember looking at someone saying, this must be the rapture. Then I heard that voice again say, be calm. And after that, I passed out. So I'm still in a dream at this point, and I remember waking up in this building, and someone said, where are we? Now, at this point, we don't know what's going on, so we said, let's go outside. When we went outside, it was like this big, giant city. That's where everybody got confused. So as we walking through the city, we realized that this city was floating on a cloud. So I ran back to the building where I woke up at to tell my mom and sister that wherever we're at, it's a city sitting on the clouds. At first they didn't believe me, so I said, look out the window. And when they did, I showed them and said, look, you can see the clouds right there. So after that, that's when everybody realized that we were in heaven. And it's weird because from heaven, you could see the earth perfect. And right before I was about to wake up, God spoke to me and he said, I'm about to destroy the world with fire and everybody that believe will be saved. Then I woke up. Let's just say, if you don't have a relationship with Lord Jesus, I pray that you have a serious change of heart because heaven is real and so is the judgment that's coming upon this world. No one knows the time and hour. That's why it's important to go ahead and have that relationship. Now, dedicate your life to Lord Jesus because we don't know the time or hour nor day. We don't know none of that. That's why it's important because it can literally happen today. It really can happen today. So I pray that you develop that relationship relationship with our father. I pray. I pray in the name of Jesus.
You don't want to be left behind because when the second coming of Lord Jesus Christ happens, it's going to happen quick to the point you won't even have time to think about it. That's exactly what happened to us in the dream. We got caught up so fast that we couldn't even register it in our brain. We didn't even have time to think about it. So we couldn't figure out what was happening. So it's important that you develop that relationship with God. So today I pray that you dedicate yourself to Lord Jesus, accept him in your heart, because one day all of this stuff is gonna be destroyed. I'm talking about God is gonna destroy all of it. And the only thing that's gonna remain is the word of God, because that's gonna be forever. And that's what God wanna give us. He wanna give us a life that's forever so that we won't have to perish, so that we won't have to suffer, so that we won't have to feel pain, so that we won't have to like suffer and, and, and be depressed because we lost a loved one or a friend so that's why I'm, I'm man I pray that you just receive this message man I don't know if anybody gonna even look at it I don't even know if people gonna take the time out to look at this but I pray that you receive Lord Jesus in your heart because it ain't about the views it ain't about the likes it ain't about the comments it ain't about the shares it's about people giving their life to lord jesus it's about putting out a word that transforms someone's life that's what it's about but i pray y'all have a blessed day and this the rapture dream that changed my life it really did man it was like no other we literally saw heaven we was in heaven and it was like just giant cities i'm talking about everything was so beautiful man it's hard to describe it's really hard to describe i never thought in a million years that I would actually see heaven in a dream. Like it, it was just, it was just beautiful, man. Tall, giant buildings, just like, just like what it say in the word. It said it's, it's mansions, it's mansions in heaven. Like everybody will have a home in heaven. If you dedicate your life to the most high, become his word. But I just pray, man, y'all, y'all take heed to this. I pray that y'all receive this message, man. In the name of Jesus, I love y'all. Amen.